Hi, this is Ed, the App Inventor Guy. I'm just going to do a little demo of the bouncing ball animation modified into an image sprite animation. And then we'll introduce this new orientation sensor feature that's in this week's tutorial. Uh, this is a real simple app to demonstrate how we do some animation. Press the start button and we start bouncing the ball, or image sprite in this case, around on the screen. Uh, when it hits an edge, it bounces off in an appropriate direction. Press the stop button to stop it. And that's about it. Uh, to say start again, we can go faster or slower. Not a whole lot to it. Real simple kind of an app here. If we want to, we can enter a value down here in the set heading area and uh, change it to go in a specific direction just to demonstrate how that works. You can also see down at the bottom the current heading uh, text box shows what the current direction is for that graphic item as it moves around on the screen. Now we're going to take a look at the orientation sensor. So we'll whoops, go ahead and stop this. I'm going to press Orient. When I press Orient, you note down at the bottom in the text box, we're getting some information coming through there. And it shows us uh, for what the program actually produces, what the pitch angle is, the roll angle, and some other information. In the orientation mode, you can see what happens here. As we tilt this, the tilt of the phone controls the direction and speed of movement. Make it more or less. Go up and down like that. And so we'll take a look here as we tilt it down. Okay, it starts to go away from us. We'll tilt it back. Goes over in that way and just like that. So what this tutorial does is explains the code that makes this happen using the orientation sensor and ch detecting when the orientation has changed plugging those values in to the sprite's heading and speed parameters. So we'll go ahead and head on back over to the appinventor.pevis.com website where we've got uh, information on the program and you can also download the source code for the program right there.